Hello on Saturday the 3rd of September and everyone in the leadership teams at both St Aidan's and St Luke's sends their love and their blessings to you all. We do hope that things are going well for you and your families and our opening sentence. Please Lord awaken us to your love, your light and your leading. Amen. Our readings today are Psalm 97 and Acts chapter 8, verses 4 to 25. One of the consequences of the COVID pandemic is that we all began to use contactless payment systems much more than previously. Many places stopped accepting cash in an attempt to reduce the spread of the virus. However, I think that using contactless payments makes it much more difficult to monitor your spending. It's just too easy to wave a card at a machine. At least if you have cash in your purse, you know when there's no money left and that you can't spend any more. Many people, unfortunately, are presently doing mathematics, mathematical gymnastics with their income and expenditure. They are wondering whether there's any possibility of gaining more income. I've heard of students who've picked up three jobs to supplement their uh, student loans. And I know many who would love to come across some sort of money spinning scheme. In our reading, Simon, a resident of Samaria, thought that he'd come across a perfect money spinning scheme. Locally, he had a big following and was known as the Great Wizard because of the magic he performed. No doubt that earned him considerable income from his following, but this disappeared when the good news of Jesus was shared with the people and they decided to follow Christ's way instead. The apostles, as well as talking about Jesus, also performed miracles in the power of the Holy Spirit. And Simon saw this. He offers to pay to receive the Holy Spirit so that he too has power to perform miracles. But Peter sees through the motives behind his request. Simon is seeing it as a money-making scheme. Now Jesus' saving power and the gift of the Holy Spirit a free gifts which are available to all. But Simon wants to make profit from these free gifts. Peter tells him to give up his evil ways. As today's psalm says, let those who love the Lord hate evil. Our next prayer. Sovereign God, the defence of all who trust in you and the strength of all who suffer. Look in mercy on all who are afflicted and oppressed and deliver them through the might of our Saviour, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. For today's prayer points, let's start by praying that truth and integrity are displayed in all areas of life. Let's give thanks for the generosity of those who seek to help others, those who are prepared to give of themselves and their resources. And let's pray for peace and for the situation that exists in the world's war zones. The Lord's Prayer. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. 
give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil for thine is the kingdom the power and the glory for ever and ever amen tomorrow is of course sunday and a reminder of the times of sunday worship here at St. Aidan's, it's at 9.30 and 11 o'clock. And St. Luke's are meeting at 11 o'clock within St. Wilfrid's Academy. Why don't we come and join us at one of these acts of worship? And our blessing. The Father who created light out of darkness. The Son who is the light of the world. The Holy Spirit who enlightens everything be with you and remain with you. And the blessing of God Almighty, Father, Son and Holy Spirit be with you and your loved ones today and always.